Hi, I'm Marina Baird. I'm a mechanical engineer. My name's Eric Rosing. I'm also a mechanical engineer. I'm Kevin Wood. I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm Brenda Rivers. I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm Lincoln Engelhardt. I'm a blank engineer. I'm a Laura Shell. I'm a mechanical engineer. And we are SoulTrack. IDE, a nonprofit organization, has asked us to design a tracking system for a solar dish that is going to be connected to a pump, which will be placed in developing countries for farmers to irrigate their land during the dry season. Our client asked us to come up with three prototypes, a steam-powered, a passive tracking system, and an electrical. And now I'm going to pass it to Eric to talk about the steam-powered. Awesome. So for our steam-powered prototype, we have a concentrated sunlight off of the dish. It uh, points at the main dish, the main boiler, and then goes from the main boiler to the secondary boiler, generates steam, comes down through the tube up into a diaphragm piston, um, and activates the piston. So once the piston is moved, it hits this, rotates it, and then there's a lock on this side which keeps it there. Once it rotates it, the sun is now hitting the main dish. The water in here condenses, and then the piston goes back down. Once the sun comes back up, it does the same thing and slowly ratchets it throughout the day. Alright, and we also came up with a passive tracking system and we're doing a counterweight system. Up front you can see our hourglass of buckets. They will have two gallons of water that has a constant flow rate and this will lose weight and the second bucket in the back will have a constant weight that will slowly rotate the dish tracking the sun within 12 hours. And the third design was an electrical design as an electrical engineer. What we designed was Basically, we use photoresistors that when the sun hits one photoresistor, it'll turn the DC motor, turn on one way, and rotate the dish to follow the sun that direction. In the morning, the sun will illuminate the other photoresistor and re-auto itself to the morning position. Or if the wind load carries the dish one way or the other, it'll auto-correct itself because it can spin both ways. So out of all our three designs, we highly recommend the IDE passive tracking system solely because it's easier third world farmers to understand, easier to maintain, and it's by far the most cost effective for it and it's fairly simple.